Hello, my friend. This is Ernest Gwynn in third today. And I'm continuing declaring that God has called us to dominion. He has called you to dominion. The Bible lets us know that God has given us dominion, that we were literally created in the image and likeness of God. We were created in his image because we are spirit beings. We were created in his likeness to walk in dominion. And I'm so excited because, you know, dominion is not something that we decide to do as believers in Christ. Dominion was not your idea. It was not my idea. Dominion was God's idea. And when God looked in the earth after he had created uh, all of the vegetation and the beast and all the things that were in the earth, he wanted to see something that resembled him. He wanted to create someone that could bring him glory. That's why he created man. We know that Adam sinned, but Christ came as the second man and the last Adam, according to 1 Corinthians 15. And just as we have bared the image of the first man, Adam, in the garden that sinned, the Bible says, so shall we bear the image of the last man, Adam, which is Jesus Christ, the Lord from heaven. Listen, I want you to get dominion in your spirit because dominion starts with the mindset. And if you can set your mind on things above, then you can begin to get this dominion mindset. And when you get this dominion mindset, it does not matter what comes your way. When you get this dominion mindset, it doesn't matter what storm that you're in right now. You need to know that God is giving you dominion. And because he's giving you dominion, not over other people, the Bible never teaches that. As a matter of fact, in Genesis, he talks about having dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, over the beast, beast of the field. In other words, over things and over things of the earth, not over one another. Please understand that. But you need to know that there is a there's a war that's going on and it is a spiritual war. But God is giving you power and authority in the Holy Ghost to go out today and walk in that dominion. Walk in it on your job today. I know there's some people that's been coming against you. I know they don't like the promotion that you're about to receive, but they can't stop it. Why? Because if God be for you, who can be against you? It's really not about the person. It's about the enemy that's using the person. So if you're going to take dominion over that thing today, you need to take dominion over it in the spirit. The Bible says that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God for the pulling down of strongholds. I feel the presence of God right now, and I want to release a word of dominion today because you are called to dominion. Until next time, this is Ernest Gwynn III saying walk in your dominion. Share this word via social media today, and let's move forward in Christ.